hey everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about my q1 updates and what my plans are for q2 so we are going to jump right on into it if you are new to my channel my name is janelle welcome and if you are not new welcome back on here i do all things budgeting so let's talk about my q1 updates now i didn't really do a video for q1 as in you know what my certain goals were for q1 but we're going to talk about some of the things that i was able to accomplish so in q1 i was able to pay off my ashley one furniture card so yay me that is um the debt that i was working on now i'm moving over to our lowe's card um this is my personal debt so it's not our household debt um our household does have a little bit of debt but we me and my husband are both working on our personal debt right now so i was able to do that um, one of my overall goals was to get into a morning routine and stick to it. And in February, I was able to start a morning routine where I would um, wake up, take some quiet time for myself, walk a mile, literally just in my house, y'all, I have a two-year-old, so it's not like I can go and leave out and go like walk around my community or anything like that. But I was getting up, walking in the morning for a mile, and then heading out for the day. I've now also incorporated in Q1, fasting, which I am feeling so good about. I've been doing that for about a month because I started that really like in March and I've just been eating two meals a day and a snack and it's really, really been helping me, you guys. So in Q2, just so I could tell y'all now, in Q2, we're going to be taking those things over. So I feel really good about being able to get a morning routine like down. I am going to be working through the kinks. Now that my husband has a new job, his job starts now at seven o'clock. So we're almost kind of going to be waking up and moving and grooving around the same time. So I'll need to work through that. I think we'll be fine, but it's going to be an adjustment because for the last five years, we have not gotten ready to go to work at the same time-ish or anything like that. Um, or I don't think at all, really, um, since we've, in the last 10 years we've been together. So that will be um, an adjustment. And then also, I was able to not go into any additional debt, y'all. And that, that, that is it, okay? Everything that we've been doing, we've been paying out of our savings or just not paying extra to debt to make sure that these things have been covered. And I am carrying that over to Q2, you guys. Q1 was crazy, interesting, exciting, and bringing all the, all the things, but it is over. We've been able to save. We've been able to pay off debt. We've been able to stay out of debt. And now we are in Q2. Two. And so in Q2, we're going to be talking about some of our financial goals, and then we're going to talk about my personal goals. So we're actually going to start off with my personal goals. Um, they are nice and sweet and simple. <laughs> so I talked about how I got into a morning routine, how I'm fasting. Let me get a little bit more into my fasting. So y'all know what I do in the morning. I wake up, take some time for myself. I walk a mile. I want to um, be able to continuously do this because in March, I ended up um, having my back go out on me. And so I was like out of commission for like two weeks. So I'm getting back into my walking again, but I'm hoping by May that I'll be able to do two miles a day. Um, and that's just Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, I can relax. But the way that my um, fasting is working right now is I actually do not eat before 8 a.m. I am allowed to have coffee or tea, is, which is what I do. Um, and then after eight, I will normally have my breakfast or whenever I'm hungry. So it doesn't have to be after eight. Um, it could be, you know, nine, 10 o'clock, whatever. But I eat after eight and then I normally do not have anything to eat after 5 p.m. So I'm fasting for at least 
14 hours or so, um, which has just been giving, I can tell like my stomach, like just feels so at ease. I'm starting to eat a little bit less as well too. And I'm seeing my body just really, really improve, like my mind improve the way my body feels. And so I just want to continue with that. I have not been eating the best. And so in you know, this Q2 time frame, I really do plan on trying to be more intentional because I was in the beginning and I fell off with the things that I'm feeding my body and, you know, just getting back in discipline with that. So that is going to be one of my personal goals for the month or for Q2 actually. Um, and then also with that being said, my biggest goal for me personally is by July 1st, I want to meet my goal of being 180 pounds. Yes, y'all, that's 29 pounds um, that I am going to be planning on using or losing. And this is going to push me to really do what I need to do because I need to be healthy for myself and my family. And to take care of myself so that I can have a long and prosperous life. So I am really gonna push myself to that goal. Um, and to be very honest, I had already set this goal, I wanna say sometime last year, and I've just been having, like going through this like rocky stage where one minute I'm up, the next minute I'm down, and I just really need to, to stick it out and just do what I need to do. So that is my goal. And then one thing I'm adding to that goal, honestly, y'all, it's all about me. Um, is with all of that, you know, exercising in the morning, eating better, losing weight, I am planning on giving myself a self-care day once a quarter. Um, as I'm doing this video, I'm actually using this day to um, be my self-care. Um, and I want to just take the time out for myself. Self-care isn't just about getting your nails and your hair done or doing your toes or anything like that. It's also about nurturing your mind, your body, and your soul. And it is just for me to take the time out for myself, whether it is reading a book, going for, um, you know, like a massage, um, just something that can be very edible for my body and helping it to grow and stay strong. And so I, at my job, they give us a, like a mental health day in a sense, it's called personal time, but um, we get one every quarter. And so I will use that time to be able to take off a day during the week where I don't have to worry about anything, baby girl's at school, my husband's at work, and I can really just take the time for myself. Um, this uh, mental health day, or I'm not going to say it's a mental health day, my self-care care day, I use this time to really just catch up on some videos. That's just my me time. I took a couple of minutes to declutter um, because I'll be talking about it in a second, but I am decluttering our entire house um, to make it more suitable for us and living because one of my goals this year was to live on less, live on the things that we have. I don't want to hoard anymore. <laughs> Not that I'm like really hoarding, but there's a lot of stuff that we have that I should just be able to see and just throw away. Instead, I stick it in little places until it's gotten out of hand. So those are going to be my personal goals, you guys. So you guys are going to see me um, just really focusing just on my health in general. After being in this car accident, I just really, really, really am seeing just how important it really is to take care of yourself. Now on to more of the household financial side of things. So the first thing that I want to accomplish in Q2 is I want to pay down 15% of my current debt. So right now I owe $13,076. So 15% of that is about two grand. So I wanna be, be able over the next three months to pay off that. That would get me down to about 11 grand um, and see where we roll from there. But I just wanna keep on pushing, keep on pushing and getting that debt paid off 
one by one. My next debt that we're working on is my Lowe's credit card. So that is going to be that. Next is what I've already been talking about is I want to declutter our home. I'm starting in our master bedroom. I've cleaned out our drawers of clothes that we don't wear anymore that can't fit us. That's just no longer wearable. I have cleaned it all out. It is clean in those drawers, y'all. And all that is left are the things that we wear. Um, our closet is pretty much good to go. I did clean that out maybe actually two years ago. So everything that's in there pretty much is things that we wear on a consistent basis whenever we're going out. So there's nothing needed to be taken out of there. And I'm just going to slowly move through the house, whether it's every day, every week, um, and just declutter small spaces until it's all done. Um, I was reading up on decluttering and they say, just take 15, you know, maybe 20 minutes and just declutter one spot. Don't try to do it all. And I think that would work for me better than trying to force myself every weekend to kind of get through things. So that is what we have when it comes down to decluttering our home. Y'all, my bedroom, I had already cleared off my dresser and with my dresser being cleaned off, it just made the whole room just feel so like airy and nice. And that's how I want our whole house to feel. So we are going to be decluttering. And then next, I want to be more active. So we talked about this again, you know, getting into my morning routine on the weekends, just kind of being out and about right now, at least in Texas, the weather is good. So I want to enjoy the weather while it's good before it gets super hot out here. So that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Um, and continue on, of course, to be more active during the summertime, just maybe inside. Um, and then lastly, I want to be able to add an additional $250 to our emergency fund. My goal right now is really just kind of a starter emergency fund. I got to start somewhere and that is $1,500. <clears throat> and then after we get there, then I can go on to the next goal. I feel a little bit more comfortable now that we are a good chunk of money ahead on our bills in our checking account and we are no longer waiting for the next check to be able to pay our bills which is a huge stress relief for me so that was kind of one of my really big goals and now i can work on our next goals so those are going to be my goals for q2 i have one goal that is kind of pending and this is just going to be an ongoing sort of situation so um as i was getting my q2 budget together and kind of just adjusting things the money that we're putting into our household account is off by like two hundred dollars meaning that we can afford everything except for money to savings and i'm trying to figure out how i want to be able to move around with that and i think potentially maybe i'll go back to just any extra money that i make in commissions for my job and stuff some will go to debt and then some will go to our sinking funds and savings challenges so that may come down in june because i'm going to use the extra money in april and then we have an extra both of us have extra paychecks in may to kind of get some money into those areas so there's some money in there and then kind of work our way through the remainder of the months so that is something that's just going to be ongoing so stay tuned on how i figure that out or how i do that um, I go from there y'all, but those are my updates and my goals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what y'all goals are for Q2. Have you completed anything for your Q1 that you want us to celebrate? I would love to hear it. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.